What is the most WTF thing happened with your neighbor? FBI raided my neighbor to the left, and the neighbor on the right came over asking if I could give him clean urine so he wouldn't get fired at work. He also bragged about being a bank robber in Reno. I tried to look it up, but didn't find anything. I just wonder why he would say slash do these things lol. Definitely don't live in that neighborhood anymore. Meth addicts are weird. He fell while painting a water tower or something. He had been on leave for a bit, and that was his way of being cleared for work haha. He was something else lol. Not my neighbor, but my best friend's neighbor. I was there for a sleepover playing Settlers of Catan and listening to Mayday Parade when it happened. Husband came home with a shotgun and shot his toddler, wife, and then himself for unknown reasons. Pretty terrifying for a while till the police got there, since we had absolutely no idea what was happening. We all hid in the hurricane bathroom listening to my friend's dad talk to the 911 operator for what felt like an hour until it was safe to come out and get questioned. Unfortunately none of them survived. Holy shit that must have been terrifying. Hope you all are okay after that. I'm sure something like that could cause problems. Stop to have a casual chat with our downstairs neighbor when we first moved in. Or normal small talk. Until he mentions that his bedroom is directly under ours. Creepily smiles. And goes into detail about everything he's heard. When my husband and I were dating as teens he lived in a duplex with a mom and a daughter my age on the other side. I ended up working with the daughter. One night she told me her mom's bedroom was on the other side of the wall from my boyfriend slash now husband's bedroom. One day the daughter told me at work that her mom always listened to us having sex. I just stared at her. How do you even respond to that? You wait until next time. Pause mid action. Softly tap the wall and ask your neighbor if she'd like to join. She would have gladly accepted. She hit on my husband's younger brother. He was about 16 then. And her daughter and I were about 18. She came up to him out in the yard one day and asked him to look at her new bra and see if it fit right. She raised her shirt right there in the front yard. Did he respond by saying, yeah, it looks alright. And then walking away, he said he guessed it was okay. Then went back inside and left the car half washed. A long while ago the woman a few houses down from us passed out in the alley by her garage. It was late at night and she was known to be a heavy drinker. The guy who lived next door to her came driving through the alley not long after she passed out and, well, he was drunk as well and hit her thinking she was a trash bag left outside. She didn't survive. He decided to park in his own garage and run inside like nothing happened. My stepmom came home from her shift at the hospital soon after all this. SM saw the woman in the alley and got out to check on her. Then the guy comes out of his house freaking out, asking what happened, and claiming SM hit and murdered this woman. Obviously SM ignores him and calls the police. Dude still tries to convince the police that SM ran the woman over. It would have gone on much longer if the neighbors across the alley didn't have security cameras. The whole incident was recorded and the guy was quickly carted off to court. Apologies I don't remember how slash what he was charged with. This was a very long time ago. Fucking crazy man. Thanks security cams. I do not drive drunk, but accidentally hitting a person with my car is one of my greatest fears. It is a fucking nightmare. My little sister hit two pedestrians a while back. She was sober and not on her phone. But two people decided to cross a 50 miles per hour road in the dark in an area with no street lamps. It was a terrible accident. One of the pedestrians died. Thankfully my sister was found not at fault. But her PTSD is bad enough that she'll never be the same. How could she be the same? I'm sorry but it's got to be something that profoundly changes you. Like it cracks and shatters a part of you. I really hope that she is getting the help she must need after something like that. Bless her heart. She has been and is getting help. It's been a year, but there's still a long road ahead. Thanks. I'm glad she has you there to remind her that it's not her fault. I wish peace for you guys. This isn't even everything that went down with that neighbor. Just some, not so, brief highlights. 
My mom had this neighbor who pretended to be weak from cancer slash chemo so her landlord couldn't get mad at her for when trash bins were full and lawn was filthy. She even went as far as shaving her head and faking a limp, cane and everything. Mom baked her some cookies and offered to take care of her bins and lawn. Neighbor spills about her scam. My mom. Now enlightened about my neighbor's the fault in our stars bullshit and tired of the trash blowing into our yard. Called the landlord. Neighbor wasn't happy and would blast music at ungodly hours of the night slash wee morning to get back at my mom. Mom would get frustrated because she worked late and left early. Filed noise complaint to police. Police arrive. Neighbor claims my mom, old little Asian lady, punched her in the chest. Neighbor wants her arrested. Mom shows cops our security cam footage. No mom punching. Instead finds crazy neighbor kicking her 9 year old daughter out in the middle of the night. 9 yo is banging on her door. My mom comes out to check on noise. Tries to bring hysterical girl inside. It's like 2 am. Neighbor comes out and sprays her with the hose. Neighbor taken away. Daughter sent to live with dad. TL. Doctor neighbor faked cancer. Got arrested. Most underwhelming TL. Doctor ever. Fuck that bitch. Should be the title. Posted this before but. I just moved in and worked a job which ended at midnight. Got to bed and about an hour later saw flashing lights coming from the house next door. Neighbor owned a Corvette and it was on the lawn with police cars all around it. Neighbor was a cop. I assumed that someone tried to steal it and went back to bed. Next day neighbor from the other side of my house asked me if I knew what happened. I told him I assumed someone tried to steal his car and they must have caught them. He told me no. His girlfriend committed suicide. The next day the neighbor's white couch was on the front lawn with a big blood stain on it. It stayed there for a couple of days and the neighbor moved out shortly after. A couple of years passed and we get a call from the state investigator's office. He asked me if I knew the neighbor well and said that I didn't get a chance to know him since he moved out shortly after his girlfriend committed suicide. The investigator said she didn't commit suicide. Free couch listing on CL I assume. Here furniture left on the curb is free to anyone who wants it. The pickers are always driving and looking. Can almost promise that someone will snatch up an intact couch. Even with blood stain. Not likely to come forward when the police ask. Got drunk and tried to hang his Christmas lights up with a fishing rod. Did that work? Please define work. Christmas lights up and functioning without seriously injuring the person at the other end of the fishing rod. Christmas lights up and functioning is enough for me. Reminds me I need to put away my Christmas lights. They're still in a tangled mass by the door from never getting put up. Someone stole his front door in the middle of the night. No. Really. Someone went out of their way to somehow unhinge the doors and flat out take his entire door. Edit. This was in SF 5 to 6 years ago. No they never found out who did it. I don't know how they got the door down either. Neighbor put up curtains for privacy until he was able to get a new one. Nothing else was stolen. Just the door to his house. Can't have shit in Detroit. Detroit. Become thief. Gas explosion blew up their house and scattered their nude photos all over the street. Back in the 90s, they moved away shortly after the house was repaired. There has been a leak. I got drunk one night. Stumbled home from the barmy key, wouldn't unlock the door, so I opened the living room window crawled in and passed out on the couch. Found out the next morning it wasn't my house. My friend got in his car to go to work one morning and found someone asleep on the back seat. They live in the countryside and don't always lock their doors. And this guy was on the way home from the pub. Got lost and happened to find this open car door. I think my friend's mum cooked him breakfast and drove him home. Met some chill people at a party in college. At some point we stopped by my house for me to grab something while moving from one place to another. When things started to wind down I headed home and got in bed. Couple hours later there's a knock at my front door. It's one of the guys from the group we met. He wasn't a student at my school. He was visiting from out of town and asked if I knew where his friends were. I was like, no, I literally just met all of you. Where do they live? I'll tell you how to get there. He didn't know. He was calling them and they didn't pick up and was pretty drunk and didn't know what to do. 
I gave him a blanket and a pillow and put him on my sofa. And then because I'm awkward and was raised to be a good host, I cooked him breakfast. Two. My roommates were soapist underscore. Apparently he came back a few weeks later and asked if he could spend the night again because our sofa was more comfortable than his friend's floor. I wasn't home and my roommates told him to go to hell.